What's up guys, Daniel Nduku here once again. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you an Equid review. I'm gonna go deep into the platform, let you know what it's good for and, and what kind of situations Equid actually wouldn't be a good fit. I'm gonna go through the features, I'm gonna go through the pricing, I'm gonna go through the ease of use, I'm gonna go through the support. So by the end of this video, you have a really clear understanding of what Equid is and what it isn't and whether or not you should get it for your own online business. You can get access to Equid using the link down below in the description, so make sure you check that out. Now, if you're interested in the latest in-depth, honest reviews, as well as tips and tricks to grow an online business, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's dive into the Equity review. Equid was founded over a decade ago by a man named Rustling. Rustling wanted to create a way for online entrepreneurs to use their current assets, like their own websites, and build out an e-commerce store with all the functionality without sacrificing any of the functionality in just a few minutes or a few hours. And that vision was Equid. Today, it has hundreds of thousands of merchants from all over the world, integrates with hundreds of different applications, and has produced over four billion dollars in revenue for those merchants using the platform. Needless to say, they're doing something right. And it's a strong contender to the throne of best e-commerce platform. And it has some features that have put other popular platforms like Shopify to shame. Now let's take a look at those features. Now, as you may be well aware, Shopify is kind of like the elephant in the e-commerce room. They, they're doing billions of dollars in revenue. They have millions of customers, etc. But there are some things that Shopify isn't the best at. And that's a well-known fact if you're in the e-commerce space. Now, Equity isn't the perfect platform, but it does a lot of things right. For example, Equid has integrations with dozens upon dozens of payment processors, and they don't pay you for the privilege of using those payment processors like Shopify does. Shopify has its own inbuilt payment processing, and if you don't use theirs, they actually charge you a processing fee for integrating with things like Stripe or PayPal. Equid, it's designed out of the box to let you sell physical or digital products. Now, Shopify also allows you to sell physical and digital products, but there are a lot of limitations with the digital product sales unless you actually get another plugin for that, which of course is far from ideal. But Equid doesn't force you to get another plugin this functionality comes right out of the box and your digital products can be large up to 25 gigs whereas Shopify even with some applications you can only sell digital products that are up to 5 gigs and then Equid also has a mobile app that you can use to control your store on the go keep track of inventory levels and all that good stuff and they have a bunch of shipping carriers they actually outshine Shopify in this regard Shopify might be better if you're located in specific countries but Equid is better for like global brands and through these integrations with these popular shipping carriers you actually get real-time rates for your customers and you don't have to pay for the privilege with shopify you have to pay an arm and a leg for that and one thing that i really like about equid is their emphasis on allowing you to use your current website or your current assets and really really create a fully functional e-commerce website you know shopify is really built for someone who wants to start from the beginning. You want, you want to build an online store from scratch, whereas Equid kind of uses what you already have. And then it integrates with marketplaces like Google Shopping, Amazon, eBay. Since it's multi-channel like that, all your inventory is managed from one place if you're selling physical goods. So you know how you don't have to juggle like half a dozen logins and making sure your inventory sold here, tallies with the inventory sold here, so you're not actually out of stock or running low on stock, but you think you have a lot of stock left, right? So that multi-channel commerce and controlling everything from one back end is really important and Equid does it wonderfully. So one of the biggest challenges with uh, shopping online is abandoned carts. And one of the big reasons for that is because some of these platforms force your customers to actually create an account. But Equid doesn't do that. You can actually choose to allow people to create an account if they want, or you can allow guest checkout. And one thing that Equid is really good at are product variations. You can actually create an unlimited number of product variations, whereas something like Shopify is limited to just three product variations. So let's say on your Shopify store, you want to add color, size, 
texture, and script. With Shopify, you can only add three of those, but with Equid, you can actually add an unlimited number of product variables. It can get complicated for you, but it's the ability to have that choice, to have that option that really matters. Then, of course, you get all the promotions, the discounts, the bundle, the bundle pricing, the coupons. And if you want to do upsells, it's not built into the platform, but there are applications that allow you to do that. And they have really strong privacy and consent features out of the box. Now, with something like Shopify, you can get an app for that, and some of those apps are free, don't get me wrong, but Equid has that functionality right out of the box, which makes it that much simpler to accomplish. So one thing I'll say I don't like, like about Equid is that the reporting right when you get in there is really basic, and this can be extended by adding a free application to Equid, but why? You know, it's e-commerce you need to be able to track your sales and all those things so even though it can be remedied pretty easily it's not something that i feel a platform of equity standing should still be struggling with now let's look at the add-ons and integrations Equid has a bunch of different add-ons and integrations, hundreds of different apps in its app store that extends the functionality where Equid may not be able to shine. They have live chat, they have cart abandonment, although that's an inbuilt feature in Equid, they also have applications that take it one step further. I mean, there are so many applications here that extend the functionality of Equid, so they've done a good job there, but not all of them are free. Some of them are actually paid applications, so make sure you watch out for that. Now, the elephant in the room, how much does it cost? Equity is actually pretty affordable. They have a free plan that basically offers you nothing but a storefront and the most basic features. Never recommend the free plan because, I mean, why? <laughs> All these software applications are pretty cheap. So if you have the resources, it's your storefront. It's something that you're using to make money. So I usually don't recommend the free plan because they're always so limited. So I'd suggest going with at least the business plan. It's just $35 a month and it has tons of really cool features. All of the plans have an online store, right? When you get to the business plan, right, you're able to sell on Amazon and you get able to sell on eBay. Amazon Marketplace is a multi-billion dollar industry for vendors and for just $35 a month you can tap into that marketplace and really expand the reach of your e-commerce store and then it also has automated email marketing and then from that business plan you start getting access to abandoned cart emails which is really really important anywhere from 15 to 28 percent of the people that abandon carts can be recovered with the right abandoned cart email sequence which is powerful and which you should definitely use if you're into e-commerce, whether you're selling physical or digital products. And then wholesale pricing groups, product filters, and then those product variations I was talking about, how Equid has unlimited product variations, you get access to that on the business plan. So the business plan and the unlimited plan are really powerhouses on Equid. And truth be told, the unlimited plan is only $99 a month. That's a steal when it comes to e-commerce platforms. Only $99 a month for the unlimited plan. And the business plan that has most of the features is only $35 a month. That is a steal. Now let's look at how easy or difficult it is to use equity. So this is what it looks like when you sign up for a new account. You know, it has a whole bunch of tool tips on the right hand side or kind of like a progress report on the right hand side that lets you know what you need to do to get set up. So add products and services. If you look to the, at the menu, to the left hand side i'm at the dashboard here then you're reporting it shows you orders your customers and you can edit orders from there in your catalog you can create products categories which products fit into as well as gift cards for your customers or people you want to make your customers and then marketing you know it has direct integrations with google ads facebook ads um, creating discount coupons automatic discounts based on the product or service so everything is really well laid out like the app i showed you in the app store you just go ahead and connect it to equid and it'll start showing reports of your store again this is kind of a drawback for me they should have native reports without connecting to an application so it's really easy to you know move around the application and get everything set up ahead of your first sale so they have some sample products already created and then adding a new product is pretty straightforward so you create your images, pricing, name, SKU, and then just basically add all the details about your products. So for ease of use, I give Equid a thumbs up. One thing that 
I'd say it's kind of a bit of a drawback of Equid is that it's more geared towards adding functionality to an existing website than it is to creating a standalone website. While you can create a standalone website, it's like a one pager and it doesn't really have those robust e-commerce function that you'll get when you're integrating it with a different website like WordPress or Squarespace. So that's something to take into consideration. Equid comes with email, live chat, and once again, the business plan, phone support. Now that those support options are really great, but what really helps Equid is that they have tons of knowledge-based articles, guides, tutorials, and video training to really help you get up and running with the platform. And it's one thing that they do quite well. In the end, Equid is a great platform for you if you already have a website or you already have a CMS that you like and you want to add e-commerce functionality without building another website from the ground up or trying to learn a new CMS from the ground up. Equid is great for that. Inexpensive, lots of apps to extend the functionality, very reasonable pricing and support that is actually ready to hold your hand through the process. So I give this tool a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and you can get Equid through the link in the description down below.